And welcome to your February 2020. This is going to be the What Aren't They Telling You? For the beautiful side of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be from a time frame, okay? Energy is fluid. I don't want to hear it. But this is going to be for the time frame of the 1st through the 8th. We're going to be foregoing, for now, the general energy, focusing more so on what they are not telling you in your relationships, and breaking up the messages from bi-weekly to weekly this month. Just so we can focus on trying to get you one step closer to these in these relationships in this month of love. That's what I decided to do for you guys, okay? That's what we're doing. So, let's get into it. Um, all of these will be extended. If you want to know what the order will be, check the description box. I went back to my old way of doing things. So, you, Taurus, showed up in the month of January and showed out. So, you're number two. Thank you so much for all of your support. Your money message is definitely posted on channel two. Go check it out and let's get started. Um, guys, I'm looking at your energy. And woo, 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 woo. You know, Taurus, you have definitely, your situation is... Your situation with your person and what they're not telling you, you guys have had some type of falling out because of money. What is going on, okay? The bottom of the deck indicates to me that they realized that you were a soulmate. And, of course, there was an intense attraction here, okay? Sorry, peak of the past indicates this. So they found their soulmate in you and there is a magnetic attraction, Taurus. However, the attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. Somebody wasn't necessarily focusing on each other, one another, not each other. I feel like when someone doesn't make some money, someone breaks down here. You let me know. I do have the eight of wands. Someone is quick to tell you how they feel verbally, Taurus. But when it comes down to action, not so much. Now, let's talk about it. Quick movement communi communication. It's more so about a conclusion. It is an action card, though, right? But the Eight of Wands energy is quick moving messages, quick moving communication. Cupid's arrows. I don't necessarily feel, although this can be a definite action-oriented card, that in the past someone showed up to the and stepped up to the plate the way that they were supposed to, as it pertains to you guys' relationship. Okay. Um, yes, they look at you, Libra, as this queen, or this is the energy only. It can be vice versa of Pentacles. Okay. And yes, they connect with that. What you represent financially to them is very attractive. Very, very attractive. Okay. So with that being said, I'm, I'm picking up intuitive, intuitively that some of you feel used maybe by this person. Um, some of you feel like you were always carrying the burden you were always carrying the load um there are definitely some interesting differences between you guys i'm picking up on um the chemistry is insane though it's almost like opposites attract here you let me know like it's like you wouldn't normally go for this person i'm hearing marv this person here i'm sorry guys my eyelash oh that hurt my eyelash but I'm feeling like you wouldn't normally have went for this person. There's something about this person, Libra, that you like. But and and but there, it definitely is something that makes you. It's an animalistic like attraction to this person. But there is a financial element here that I am trying to get to the bottom of, and I can't wait to uncover it in the extension because. I really do feel like you carry more of the load and you feel like that's what they like. This is going to drive me nuts. You feel like that's what they like. Like they don't care. You feel, and, and sometimes you feel used. 
the religious factors on the top of the deck, and that's that chemistry, that animal-like attraction, that 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 magnetic attraction that you guys have, and you often wonder, like, what is this? Um, well, I'll let you know that when it comes down to the chemistry, um, you definitely look at that person that's wish fulfillment. You and they definitely look at you the same. I'm look. I'm feeling like this is mutual energy because I can feel there's mutual energy between you two and this strong magnetic attraction where you make up the breakup. You make up the breakup. You can't stay away from the person. Okay. Wish fulfillment is here represented in this nine of cups energy as represented at the top of the deck. But your differences are also what tear you apart. Okay. And when it comes down to that, look at that poker face. That is an opponent. Um, the differences should be celebrated between you. But the differences are not celebrated between you because the differences, you guys get along to a point, but you're so different. Well, when it comes down to handling emotional things, that's when that's when the line is drawn. I really do feel like in this five of swords, you know, it's a difficult opponent. Look at that. That's why the imagery there is a game. So your religious factors, um, which should opposites attract and you should be able to celebrate each other's differences and lift each other up. That's not what's necessarily going on right here. Um, and I really do feel like in that sword energy, um, there is a passive aggressive. I put my swords down and walk away. I disconnect. You come back. Then you put your swords down and walk away. I discon You disconnect and then I come back. It's the seesaw type of thing that's going on between you guys. And, you know, I don't quite understand why it's not enough i can't wait to examine it why is you know the soulmate energy here is so much love between you guys i definitely feel like taurus this is alpha male and alpha female for some of you guys you've met your match and i feel like they feel like you're their match let's get into the energy now that we've we've spoken about the bottom of the deck the peak of the past and the top of the deck energy now um when we talk about this two of pentacles there like i said there's a financial element someone also feels like the way that someone does something as it pertains to money is not um is not conducive to the success of this relationship when we have the two of pentacles there's juggling um definitely juggling some of you guys could have felt like that second pentacle um represented a person okay rather than another part of you know your partner's life i'm really feeling like this is probably the energy between i don't know what this is taurus but the energy between you two um but this is what they're not telling you so i, I feel like i'm kind of giving you a personal reading into your relationship that's fine let's keep moving so this is also the hierophant so somewhere along the line you guys are being guided not to leave the other person no matter what's going on it's always a i shouldn't leave i'm not gonna leave i'm not gonna do this i'm not gonna do that you know what i'm saying and then we have the seven of wands there's a lot of defensiveness going on do you see the energy between these two squirrels with that wand it's a constant struggle it's it's enough to make you want to walk away, but then you're guided to stay. That's the title. Wow, that just came out. You see how that works? It's enough to make you feel like you want to walk away, but then you, you, you're you guided to, to kind of stay put. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, where's my pen? Um, there is an energy here of always being defensive, but the imagery shows that there's a constant struggle a constant tug of war between you guys there's enough for you to feel like you want to walk away but you always come back but not because you're codependent or because you want to taurus you and your partner i feel like it's because something inside of you makes you feel like you should go back that's your spirit guide It's enough for you 
to walk away. But you're being guided to stay. I'm sorry. You know, I do so much. I got to write it down. I feel like that's what's going on. I look, I can see this, okay? And the heart of the matter, you guys have fun together. That three of cups is always a good time. This is not three swords. This isn't three wands. This isn't three, what's the other one? Swords, wands, pinnacles. This is the three of cups. I have a good time with you, Taurus. I have a good time with you. I really want to get back to, to celebrating. I want to get back to having fun with you again. Somehow we lost our way. I like that one too. Somehow we lost our way. Because someone is in their feelings and not really paying attention to this cup. Not really focusing on the cup. Focused on the differences and not the love between you guys, okay? And there is an energy of possibly chasing your tail in this night of, look at that, night. This is actually the jacks. The jacks are equivalent to the knights, okay? This is an energy of chasing your tail and not really knowing what to do. This is also knight of wands. Spades are equivalent to wands in my blended deck, okay? Um, there, that's that difference. Someone doesn't respect the other person or feels like someone is chasing their tail and not really handling things correctly. Does that make sense? Wow. That's so interesting to me. Other energy that you guys might be dealing with. Again, there's so much love between you guys with this could be the one. This is true love. This is true love, Taurus. Healing family issues. There's healing that needs to take place. And I really feel like the healing needs to take place between you guys. There is a tearing down of one another rather than celebrating each other's differences. That's what it is. Um, there's such so much love between you two. I don't really think, I don't know if I'm... I don't know about that title anymore. Let's get the blockages here. So much love. This is so much love. Don't let your differences tear you apart. Gratitude. Oh, yeah. Show me, spirit. Give me another blockage. Oh, thank you. Loneliness and freedom. All right. I see some of it. So first and foremost, someone feels like someone is not gracious enough. There is an arrogance here. I am thankful for this life and the opportunity that it presents. One of you guys definitely is shows gratitude and the other of you kind of is a little bit more arrogant. The differences in the way in which you guys, I, I, I really do feel, I can't wait. I, I may clarify that in the extension. There's a difference with the way in which you guys operate, period. But at the same time, there is such a, trem a tremendous love to the point where they, you hate, you love each other. It's really strange. Someone feels like one of you, and, and Taurus, this is probably how they're feeling about you because I'm pulling their energy, but I really feel like this is both of you guys. There's not enough gratitude to each other to there's there's something here i can't wait to clarify it i possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness this is another thing the way that someone moves in this relationship is not respected this union and the way in which there is the way in which someone carries themselves is despised by one or both of you guys or maybe with each other you don't like it loneliness i know that i am never alone Oh my God, this feels like a person who has the nerve to be judgmental. I, I'm going to examine more of this in the um, extension. This is loneliness. For those of you who will be joining me there, we'll continue it. For others of you, what they're not telling you is, is that they really feel like it's enough for them to walk away from you, but something keeps pulling them, pulling them back. It's one of them things where 
they know that it's bigger than them. They just don't quite know what to do moving forward. Um, they just know that they're stuck. I mean, you guys are letting your differences tear you apart. There's no communication about what bothers one another. And there's no willing to bend to meet each other's need for love either. This week. Wow. We're going to go ahead and talk about... Um, Get the angel answers card to find out what should be done in the situation. We're also going to get the Island Love Tarot um, cards. And we're also going to go ahead and clarify with the Illuminated Tarot mini blue deck. Okay. So thank you guys so much. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Go check me out on channel two. And I will see you guys next week when we do it again. For everybody else, I'll see you in the extension. Bye, Taurus.